11 months ago, I bought an old abandoned house in central West Portugal, and ever since then, I have been restoring it. I'm currently focusing my attention on the garden area. I've just become the mother of three cute chicks, Penny, Pew Pew, and Lucy, and I am really enjoying getting to know their personalities and how to look after them. This morning, it seems like my neighbour is playing some nice music <laughs> to accompany me in the job that I'm going to do this morning. Actually, no, it's not my neighbour. It's this weekend is the, oh, I forget which festa it is because there's so many festas here in Portugal, but it's, um, I think it's the one, uh, I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, it's here in the little village here. And look what this is. Oh, no, I have piped music now throughout the entire day. Can you see? I wondered what the men were doing here. Just there on the post there. They've put a speaker. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you have to laugh. I mean, once if I want to turn it off. <laughs> this morning, I am going to endeavor. Oh, look at my beautiful vine here. Um, to dig up the lanterna. Look how much, even from like last week, it's grown so much again. So I've started to uncover like where the roots are down here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue with that and try and get this plant up so that I can rehome it. Doing it this way, um, so that I don't damage the roots too much. Although this plant seems to be extremely hardy, so I think even if I dig down and just cut into the roots, it's not going to be too much of a problem. The only problem here is I have to contend with, oh, if I try and use the spade, it's a problem because when I'm digging down, I just come across tiles and stones. Uh, so I'm just going to loosen this all up here. There's another stone there. means I cannot get, it's a bit like excavation this, can I get the shovel in there to dig it out with stones blocking the way. It's quite a 
big on this. And then like <laughs> the stones. Okay. I think I'm just gonna try and see what happens. Ah, oh, there's a big root here that I just need to cut actually. Okay, so let's cut straight. Now the jets are coming. Oh my goodness, it's really nice today. obviously going down and that's probably the one that's keeping it alive um, hmm. so I think I need to try yeah that's the one that's obviously sourcing the water I would think The, here is the other stone that's two tiles. Okay, so let me try. Okay, I think it's inevitable that I'm going to have to break this root system because it's just goes down too deep. Oh, my space got pretty low. So, yeah, like, my space went like really low there. the roots would be huge obviously I had to cut this bit but they're not really that's it that is the lanterna so now I'm going to go and put it in the hole that I've dug which may not be big enough it's actually quite easy to dig into this soil it's just sand and interestingly enough 
it's actually underneath it's actually quite moist can you see that which is good so that's how the plant is gonna survive <laughs> Pottery, <laughs> pottery. Okay. This is probably oh. actually. I think it's probably deep enough. rocks out we're gonna do any heart good well. okay so let me show you in the hole <laughs> so here is the hole and the sand down here in the hole I'm just trying to remove just any stones and I think that plant's going to go in there just fine. Okay. Here we go. We have our roots in. Find their way, I'm sure. Uh, oh no, how did that come out of the, the way that was sitting? Was it I think that? Uh, so, where's that reach? Okay. Okay, let's pull off some of these bottom leaves. They can just go in the hole as compost. And uh, I'm not actually going to put any soil, good soil, what I call good soil in there, because it's used to growing in these conditions. So I'm literally going to put the soil that I've taken out back in the hole, minus the, uh, most of the rocks, hopefully. And stones. Um, a little with backache, but <laughs> uh, so when I do jobs like this, uh, I get a little bit of pain going on. Is it that when you put soil back in a hole there always seems to be more just because it's compacted more than you took out but i suppose it's because it was all compacted quite well before okay so I'm going to get my 
my little spade. I like to, whatever job I'm doing, I like to do it well. Um, because I think if you just take that little bit of extra time to do it well, then the outcome will be better. <laughs> take a little care of the plant I know it's robust but there is a limit isn't there for everything oh look pottery some pottery that's just normal I don't know, that's probably part of the same pot it's pretty huh I'll keep that for the pot of pottery <laughs> bits because one day maybe I'll make something with mosaics tiles but look there's another piece ah oh. uh, green green treasure rocks are certainly not treasure no not bricks rocks bricks bricks speed this up. <laughs> Lantana is looking a little bit sorry for itself now but I reckon by the end of today I'm going to give it some good water now by the end of today this will be all perky again <laughs> and tomorrow it will have grown <laughs> so uh, yeah I will do another little video then to show you and just while I'm here look at my beautiful vegetable garden here now these beautiful allison flowers purple and white ones growing here my lettuce is a bit slow growing and uh the um what's happened to my brain i've forgotten the name of these guys <laughs> how can i forget a name so i i know what it is okay so they're growing well and then i've got a beautiful little purple flower over there with some ferns that are I don't know what's going to happen with these lovely little ferny type plants. So yeah, that's, it's nice that uh, it's now the middle of August, not middle of August, nearly the middle of August. And this is, uh, I finally got some colour in the garden. And another thing while I'm here, I just want to speak to is, you see all the jobs being done, but I never show you like the preparation time and the clearing up time. The clearing up is the worst, you know, like now I've got to like put all these somewhere, well, in a rubble sack um, and just clean all this area, put all the tools away. Oh, that's boring, that job. And sort out all the soil over here that I've now left a big hole over here <laughs> and more tools fill all this in and then the job will be done. I want to paint this area here but it also goes around 
the corner here. So now I'm deliberating. <laughs> do I really have to move all these tiles just because I want to paint that bit of wall? Or do I wait until a later point when those tiles have been moved or used and then I can paint it? Mm. I know what I should do. I should remove them, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just because I can't see that side of the wall from the garden. I don't and it doesn't really matter from the other side at the moment. So I am just gonna go for this quick win here and just do this. So actually there's no preparation at all. I like that. So I lied. Well, not lied. <laughs> Didn't mean to lie. Um the So there is actually some preparation. I do need to first brush it all off and clear below it so that, uh, yeah, it's all clean to paint. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> when you start a job, you don't actually know how tricky it's going to be. And this is one of those jobs because I have had to do a lot of this stippling into this concrete so that it doesn't have all these little tiny holes in the paint everywhere. And when I do, yeah, like I say, when I do a job, I like to do it properly. So it's taking longer because I'm having to do this all the time. But I think it's going to be worth it. So just a little bit more to do. This is how the wall is looking. It's very bright. I like it though. I have yet to do the inside so of the holes. I did do one here to experiment and it does look much better than not having it done. So I will do that job too. The cabbage in English, Covey and Portuguese, is ready to eat. Look how big it's got. So we're going to pick some and then Fabi is going to to show us how he cooks it. It's very hot this evening, so <laughs> This is why he's not bearing many clothes. When you cook this, 
like any greens you need a lot of it because when you cook it it like goes into nothing this plant like the other day we picked some and then it's grown so much since then so it has plenty Bane. What a lovely bunch of curvy girls are just hanging out as the sun sets, and normally around about eight thirty ish when it's becoming dusk, if they haven't already gone inside the run, their coop run then uh, they will go in there but by that time they will just go inside their coop and get ready for bed it's so good i don't have to chase them around or anything they just go in there So after the washing, uh, we just strip the leaf off of the stalk. Now, so scrunch it all up. And now cutting it like this. I don't like to do use a knife like this. I would have to put it on a chopping board. Otherwise I'll end up cutting my hand off from a finger at least. So the next step is garlic, alho um, in, in Portuguese. Quanto, quanto, quanto? Vou pôr três. Três? Três. Três, ok. Sal. A little bit of salt. Um pouquinho. It's just very simple. We just in flash. See? Mm -hmm. Olha, quando ele começa a ficar sapecadinho, fritinho, o alho, tá vendo? Já começou a ficar frito o alho. Uhum. -huh. E vem. And now, we put the cabbage. Uh. Uh.
Não pode ser muito tempo para não perder a vitamina da cor. Entende? Sim, então. Então, With the rest, with the stalks of the covey cabbage, we've using the lemons from the tree. Oh, they smell good. They smell, I can smell them from here. They're very strong. They're so good. Okay. So, juice the lemons. Then the KV. Look at this lovely color in there. Muito green. So now we'll put in the lemon. Um pouco de açúcar. Vamos ter que pôr um pouquinho de açúcar. Vou... You don't have to. You could just put the whole thing, the not sieve out the cabbage. I would have just put it all in there. A little bit of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Okay. A bowl. And front. Mm -hmm. It's ready. Look at that. We added a bit more sugar because the lemon was really strong and that looks so good now. Mmm, delicious.